session on the quick charging. I'm gonna show you. I'm actually borrowing this one here because mine is uh, coming in for some service work and this is the paperwork so I can legally take it. Um, but down here at Nissan of Renton, they hooked me up with a really good deal and I would suggest if you're interested in a Nissan Leaf, come on down here to Nissan of Renton and talk to Garrett or Mr. Fenton. This is called Yonker Nissan. And they've got excellent deals on Nissan Leafs like this. They come in different colors. And you can get a really good deal on a low mileage used one or a fantastic deal on a new one. Uh, and these uh, they come really well equipped. So even the rental one they're giving me here, or the loaner, has a quick charge port, which enables ultra, rat, ultra fast uh, charging at many dozens of kilowatts. All right, that's all for this segment. It's 6.15 in the morning and I'm driving this 2020 loaner car that is equipped with all kinds of heated everything. The heated steering wheel, heated seats, the um, lane keep assist and all kinds of other AI pro pilot stuff. I don't like that. I like my 19 better, but it drives nice. Um, I had to drive it from Renton to Issaquah, so I depleted the battery on the way home last night. So I have to rapid charge here at 45 kilowatts. Uh, early in the morning. This is pretty close to the maximum charge rate and it'll keep that charge rate up uh, until it gets to 60% and then it starts tapering off. Um, this is called level three quick charging. If you just need to boost real quick, so I'm gonna be here for maybe 10 minutes. Um, in 10 minutes, I'll grab enough charge here. Uh, we're at four minutes right now. In 10 minutes, I'll grab enough charge to cover getting to work uh, and returning to this station. Um, they're gonna need to keep my white Nissan Leaf for another day or two in order to perform the needed repairs to the front window and the paint. So that was part of the purchase deal. So I'll be driving this one for the next couple of days. That's all for this update. But uh, if you do have an electric vehicle, rapid charging is good to do in short bursts. But um, if you do it for prolonged periods, it fades your battery and makes the battery wear out faster. Just a heads up. Cheers. So my video about the headlight upgrade is going to be divergent from this one. This 2020 model comes with these LED lights that are extremely high brightness projector units here with uh, optical lensing. Though if the LED bulb goes out in this model, it can cost a thousand dollars or more per side to replace the headlight assembly. The fog lamps on the other hand appear to be uh, non-LED, um, just a halogen type. So. What you're gonna see in my vehicle is I'm going to upgrade the standard projector uh, assembly, which would be the headlight that is a round one. These are square or rectangular uh, lens assemblies on these guys here. And this is pretty cool because you get higher brightness, but it's that annoying blue-white color. And if I zoom over here to these lights in this parking lot, uh, I know this is not color corrected, but they're actually a daylight white color and I happen to perform prefer warm white um, and you'll see in my video what I'm talking about with the warm white 3000 K headlights that's all for now all right we're closing in on 10 minutes you can see that the rate has dropped now to 26 kilowatts as it approaches 70% full um, I'm gonna cut it off here in about a minute and get going because otherwise I'll be late for work uh, but you can see it, it picks up charge very rapidly at these higher kilowatt levels. And on, you can see my breath, <sighs> foggy morning here, <sighs> right? Uh, so it's really cold outside. It's uh, under like 40 Fahrenheit. Uh, so what we're, what we're doing here, the battery is air cooled in this vehicle. It's actually located um, under the rear seats here. And it's been sitting out overnight. So the battery is cooled off all the way. And if the battery temperatures are colder, the communication system in this charger allows a higher rate of charge, uh, where it would taper down to nine kilowatts uh, if the battery was hotter. So that just about does it right there. So I climbed up to the top of the parking garage so I could zoom down. Now Meg was with me this time. I was showing her how it works. This is the view from the top of the Nissan of Bellevue's parking garage in South Bellevue. I'm going to pan kind of from the direction of Bellevue College all the way across I-90 there 
in the top of the Nissan dealer. And then I spot the really friendly sales dude down below with the customer. Hello, Ernesto! Up, up here! 